Stop the party and record this momentous day because it is my sweetheart's birthday. Let's try that. Apparently we are partying very hard. Anyway, it's your birthday. Yes. And you're ready to go to bed because you're tired. Yes. So how does it feel to be another year older and wiser and more beautiful and amazing? Well, Mike, <laughs> it feels pretty dang good. Um, I'm, well, I'm turning 25. Oh, we're disclosing numbers today. Ooh, yeah. So embarrassed. Yeah, 25, quarter of a century. You're welcome to donate um, a roll of quarters to the Mike Daily Show in, in my birthday honor, if you so choose. The human fund? The human fund. <laughs> Uh, made cupcakes for the first time ever. Yep. I don't know how I missed that boat because I've made practically other, every other thing. I've made cakes and cookies and pies and brownies and souffles, but for some reason I'd never made cupcakes. Yep. So I went the lazy route and I bought cake mix from the store. It's very good. You did a good job. It was really hard. <laughs> so so hard. Now that you have a quarter century experience, wow. schooling, school of hard knocks, relationships, experience, heartbreak, share some wisdom with us. Wisdom. Okay. Turn off the lights as you leave the room and you'll save on your electricity bill. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 25 years to amass that piece of knowledge right there. <laughs> Recall to your mind one of your most joyous experiences what's what have you found to be important in your life what have you enjoyed as you've grown up um now or just in the whole 25 years just whatever part of it i've found i don't do it as much as i used to but I loved getting absorbed into a really good novel. That was so fun. Just kind of tuning out the rest of the world and soaking up the story and imagine Like a plant. A sponge. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just way to derail <laughs> train of thought. That was impressive. Yeah, I don't think that they even need to know the rest of my thought now that they've heard your two cents. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, for At first the books were an escape, but then it was for fun. And it was... Um, it was a pleasure and yeah, got to go play in another world for a little while. That's great. Well, I can tell you that since I have lived with you for several years now, I've... He has. Stop the press. Almost five. Almost five years. So... He's a cradle robber. <laughs> Almost a fifth of your life. And I can tell you... Five times five is 25. I know. I was just thinking about when, I was, when I'm going to be 50, I'll be married to you for half my life. 
No, that's not true. 40. <laughs> 40 would be half my yeah. life. I can tell you that this woman here is awesome. You're tons of fun to be with. <laughs> <laughs> you are! I'm sorry. Was it the way That's I said just, it? No, is it's it, just... Is it really late? <laughs> yes. It is midnight after all, but... Um, oh, it is actually 12.01. What's... I, I don't know. Just for such a long time, I wasn't fun to be with, so it's funny when people say that. Yeah, I think you needed to find somebody that was truly compatible with you. <laughs> truly weird. <laughs> Um, no, but you're, you're tons of fun to be with. Thank I love, you. I love your, how you love to do art and be creative. You're, you have a wonderful sense of crap, not crap. I just dropped I have that a floor. wonderful sense of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I have what? to clean this up now. I a spilt it on. Wonderful I spilt sense. it on the floor. Oh. Sorry, that was. Bad oh timing. wow, that was quite a bit yes, of frosting. Yes, that's why I said crap. <laughs> <laughs> Mike dumped some frosting yeah, from his. I, is that I, your fourth cupcake? No. So. Oh, so it was your fifth. I. You have a wonderful sense of fairness, and you're a great friend to people. You work hard. You're creative. Sometimes your creativity gets a little dark. <laughs> what? But when, dark. We're, we're, dark. We're, we're assessing you your about? entire are you talking, life. Are you talking about the crocodiles eating the ducklings comic? No, I don't remember that one. Because you didn't like that one. No, I never liked any of your dark <laughs> stuff. Anyway, it's it's been great. I've really enjoyed mm. being with you well, and being you. a part of your 25-year journey. Mm. Wow, that's so weird. It's been great. 25. That's weird. Weird. Yes, weird. Am I not talking loud enough? No, you're not talking loud enough. See the little blue thingies? Uh -huh. they, they're not showing up when you're Does talking. Does that make you crazy? A little bit. Are you gonna strangle me later? No. Why didn't you speak louder? No, I'll just give you kisses. Okay. That, that one worked well. I oh, like that. Thank that's good you. volume. That was... My best voice. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm sorry. I think we'll end this now. It's I'm just it's very late, honey. And and and, and I was actually thinking uh, we've been watching a show called Rhett and Link. They do a, a morning show Monday Good through Friday. Mythical morning. Anyway, we're not going to steal their intro, but I do like how they end the show different ways. Oh. And I was thinking, since we don't have a mythical wheel to spin, I think I thought we'd just end with an awkward silence. They did that though. It's not awkward if you talk. But no, that's a dumb one. Pick a different one. I like the awkward silence. But it's not that awkward. You can just edit it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Maybe you should drop more frosting on the floor. <laughs> Tell you you have a, a, a good sense of crap. Good sense of crap. Goodbye. Oh, it wasn't recording. We have to do it over. <laughs>